politics. Okay, Senator Thank Bayh you. also blaming over-the-top partisan politics for his, his decision. This as we get new reports of a Democratic backroom deal on health care ahead of President Obama's summit. House Republicans are demanding Speaker Pelosi and Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid drop their deal immediately. Tea Party activist Jennifer Stefano and co-coordinator for the Tea Party Patriots Everett Wilkinson say this is why Americans are angry. Um, I'll start with you, Jennifer. Why are Americans angry? What's going on in the backroom deals? Well, I think the number one reason we're angry is I don't think our current president understands the word transparency. In fact, I think the Tea Party movement should hold a fundraiser to get him a dictionary. Because the American people, Democrats, Independents, Republicans, Tea Partiers, we have all been saying we do not want this radical left-wing progressive ideology fueled health care that the democrats are now trying to shove down all of our throats we don't want it that's about as transparent as it can get the president's saying i hear your objections i'm pushing forward anyway and i'm doing it through backroom deals i mean this is a president that has met with big pharma big insurance hospitals unions to hammer out a deal that the american people don't want and trust me we're going to be the ones to pay for it. Everett, talk to us about what this deal is, the latest deal, the, the uh, pelosi reed backroom deal trying to get health care pushed through. Unfortunately, this deal is a uh, just washed in as usual. I mean, this is the reason why millions of Americans came out on April 15th, and we came out in the town halls and the nearly 2 million that came out on D.C., but it's apparent that Washington does not understand the American people. We've gone away from a representative government to a non-representative government that you know is made on uh, backroom deals. I mean, you would think that you're watching Sopranos rather than watching your Congress. Jennifer, uh, the, the Tea Party uh, claims to be fiscally responsible. Um, with someone like Evan Bayh retiring from the Democratic side of the aisle, this, uh, would you consider that a bad thing for the country? Well, I think it's a very bad thing for the Democrats and probably a good thing for the Republicans because they're, the Democrats are now forced to spend money to protect a seat in a state they didn't think they were going to have to, to spend money on. But um, if you look at Senator Bayh's record in this last Congress, the 111th Congress, he only voted with his caucus 71% of the time. Now, that seems like a big number, but it is the lowest of his career. And he is now a senator most likely not to vote with the Democrats of all the Democratic senators. And what this is telling you is even people in their own party, in the Democratic Party, are tired of where this of what they're doing and of what this party has become. This is no longer the party of the working class or the working man and woman. This is a particle of radical left-wing ideology. And they, they don't understand representation. They don't understand right. transparency. And they just simply don't want to listen to the people anymore. And Ever if they didn't get that um, from the Tea Party movement, they certainly should have gotten it from Massachusetts. Ever tell us where the Tea Party is right now. There's, there's a lot of uh, Tea Party GOP love fest going on right now. Is the Tea Party a third party or is it part of the Republican uh, Party? Oh, great question. We're, we're actually not part of the GOP. We're not part of uh, becoming a third party. We're actually the outside, uh, I guess you might say, reform uh, movement that we're trying to focus on three core principles, fiscal responsibility, a limited constitution government, and free markets. We have no interest in starting a third party or uh, becoming part of the GOP. Basically, we, if we did that, we'd become what we're fighting, which is you know these backroom deals and uh, or organizations right. that are going on with the lobbyists. All right, I'm going to have.